Hello and welcome back to Polished Lifting. Today we're going to do a twofer um, since Polish Con is coming up tomorrow. Earlier, if you are subscribed and have notifications turned on, you will have seen the Great Lakes Lacquer Polish Con video. I am back with Rogue Lacquer's Polish Con Limited Editions today. There are a total of three limited editions being featured here today, not including Rogue Locker's Doorbuster. Two colors are Flakies and one is a Tri-Thermal. I think you guys are really going to love these. First up, I have swatches of Grease Grease. This is a grape base with red to green shifting Aurora Shimmer with green, orange, red, purple, color shifting Flakies and a soft scattered hollow. This one is very sparkly and has a really nice contrasting flake to it. It transforms to a richer deep green in like lower lighting or indirect lighting situations. It's absolutely stunning and definitely worth picking up. As you might have noticed, this is a jelly based formula, so it's really important that you allow each coat of polish to dry before applying a new coat of polish. So for a standard polish, I would wait anywhere from like one to five minutes. This I would definitely do like three to five or three to eight minutes between coats. And that does seem excessive, but I find that if you allow the previous layer of polish to dry first, your overall mani will wear better. Up next is Voodoo Doll. This is an oxblood crelly with gold to red shimmer and green to gold to purple color shifting flakies and a smattering of hollow. I think this is a really nice take on Oxblood. It's fresh, I know that was a really popular color a few years ago, and I think this really revives that deep red color. The formula has a really nice consistency, it's easy to work with, and I had no issues getting any of the flakies out of the bottle. What you see is what you get, I didn't fish for any of this. My swatches show two coats for full coverage. I dropped the lighting at the very end here because I really wanted you guys to see how pretty this is. A lot of people complain that bright lights are unrealistic, but in reality they just help me capture and display each polish a little bit better for you guys. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful in both lightings and I hope you guys do too. The final swatch I have for you today is of Charmed. This is the really pretty tri-thermal. It's a purple to blue to turquoise thermal with scattered hollow and a soft rainbow shifting shimmer. This is highly reactive and I actually had to run to and from my bathroom sink just to capture photos before it started transitioning to the next color. It's really fun to wear. It's not a disappointment at all. I have mixed feelings about thermals because half of them are not as reactive as people say they are and this one is perfect. I totally ran out of time with swatches and whatnot, so please check out the description box below for all of the details and the corresponding blog posts. 